We'll try to figure out what's going on in this situation, but according to Sheriff Sonny Weatherford, Cottontown, really the uh, hard hit area at this point of the morning. Uh, we've been watching flooding for about three hours uh, now, watching swift water rescues, and News Channel 5's Chris Conti is also on scene for us this morning. Let's get the latest from Chris. Hey, Chris, uh, what have you been watching this morning? Well, Amy, we are in Cottontown here on Cummings Lane with Melanie Crook. Melanie, uh, she was the one who owns that black SUV that's kind of become infamous now that we've been watching from Sky 5 that got swept away by those floodwaters this morning. Uh, Melanie, this is, this is unreal. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Very unreal. What was it like for you this morning? Uh, well, it started out normal, and then, then Bo come got me, which I looked at the creek and everything, but driveway's gone. <laughs> Uh, and it was in the bank and everything, and I said, well, it's good, it's good. And it wasn't 10 minutes, Bo was over here, Mel, you need to get, to, and he was started moving my patio, and my lawn furniture, and I got the truck, and he grabbed the, the lawnmower, he went and got his four-wheeler, and got the lawnmower out, and uh, we got it right there in the middle of the yard, and then uh, it started coming up a little further, so we pulled the lawnmower over here by the truck, and I pulled the truck at the end of the driveway, and it, it moved it. <laughs> and I mean, so we're, we're looking at some video right now of your truck from the air this morning from a couple hours ago. What was it like that, I mean, it just swept it away? It just swept it, yes, yeah, sir. I thought, maybe I can get it to the end of the driveway and it won't do too much to it, but it did, it moved it a whole lot. <laughs> and, and explain to everyone, how did you get out of your house this morning? Uh, the, the rescue crews. The rescue Sumner County EMS come and got me. Uh, they got the boat up to my uh, porch, and which was over. The water was over my porch and in the house, and uh, and they got me in the raft and got me across, and then pulled me through the water here and got me back up on dry land over here. Have you been over to your house yet? No, sir. Do you want to walk over there with us for a yes, second and just see what? It, yes. I, and we should point out to folks too at, at home. I mean, right now we've been watching the Tennessee Highway Patrol and a couple other agencies have been swirling above us in their helicopters. This is still a very active situation here in Sumner County, even though the water has started to recede as we are seeing in this part of the county. There are still some people who they're worried about that may be stuck in their homes, and that is why we have seen a lot of these helicopters that are still buzzing around us. Melanie, what's the name of this creek over here? This is Station Camp Creek. Station Camp Creek. This looks nothing like a creek right now, folks. I can tell you that. No, um, that come from a way up there. All these big rocks did. Uh, I mean, Melanie, your home is just completely surrounded here. Yes. And as we're watching some of the, uh, that looks like, uh, I think we heard some of the National Guard folks have been brought in, and this should be Tennessee Highway Patrol that's coming behind them in this other helicopter. Uh, as we kind of have, uh, so this road has been flooded since when? Uh, this morning, uh, I, uh, let's see, I got up about 6.30, 7 o'clock, it was probably flooded. Yeah, and Bud, I don't know if you want to maybe show some folks at home how quickly you had to get out of your house this morning. Melanie, you, you don't have shoes on. I don't on have my feet. shoes on. I mean, that's how. That's it. I still have my pajamas on when Bo hollered at me, and I just threw some stuff on and run out, and, and we started moving everything, and we pulled it up here, and then we moved it over the guardrail and pulled stuff to right there and then moved it farther on up the road. What do you think just looking at your house right now? <sighs> well, I still got a home, so that's good. And I just hope I don't find any critters in there that <laughs> they're just not supposed to be in there. You got a good sense of humor. Yes, I mean, you have to be at this point, right? Yes, sir, I mean, you do. You ran yes, out of your house without your shoes My on. My shoes, that's it. Uh, what? Yeah. I mean, clearly they're still maybe checking to see if folks are around. What are your thoughts on just kind of what's going on around the county right now? I sure hope everybody's safe because it, it's, it's quick, it's dangerous, and hopefully everybody's safe and maybe. It's unreal. It's unreal. It is.